Hey, what's up guys? This is Taylor with American Building Outlet. I'm making this video today to go over the manufacturing process on our tube formed metal building kits. So we actually just visited one of our largest manufacturers today of the tube formed metal buildings and they let us go through and take a bunch of pictures and videos of how the whole process works. So I've compiled all those pictures and videos on a slideshow on my computer and I'm just going to switch over there and kind of show you guys and, and give you guys a brief description of how the whole process is done. So I'll see you guys on my last laptop. Okay, so these are the square steel tubes that the primary construction of the building is made of. The tubes come in either 12 or 14 gauge steel. Once the tubes are formed, we turn them into legs, base rails, and trusses of the building. So I'll just pull up a few different pictures to show you guys the legs, base rails, and trusses. So this right here, this is actually what the base rails look like after they're formed. It's basically just the leg and we take and we weld a few nipples on it uh, for the legs to be able to easily slide on. And then this is what the truss looks like once it's formed. Uh, we take the tubes and we put them into a bending machine that forms that bow right there and uh, it, it just adds the A-frame uh, onto the square steel tubes and then uh, on the trusses we also add a little nipple as well for the leg post to easily slide onto. So I'll just pull up a picture of one of the buildings being installed to show the different components. So again this bottom rail here that's the base rail of the building again there's a nipple the leg post slides onto the nipple and it also slides onto the nipple on the truss there as well so once the legs base rails and trusses are formed next is forming the 29 gauge roof and wall panels the panels actually come in pre-painted rolls we feed the rolls into a machine that forms the ridges along the panels the machine it uses a computer that cuts the panels into specific lengths that, that we punch in uh, once the panels come out of the rolling machine they're then organized by length and color and i'll just pull up a few pictures of, of that whole process so uh, this right here is how the rolls come in, uh, the, how the panels come in, they come in rolls like this and they're all pre-painted and the paint actually has a 20 year warranty on, on any rust so they're, they're not going to rust. Um, so basically we take these rolls right here and we feed them into a rolling machine like this here that actually forms the ridges along the building and actually I can pull up a video of uh, kind of what the whole process looks like. It's just a quick little video. So yeah, that's just uh, how the panels are formed, and again, once the panels come out, they actually look uh, kind of like this here, and, and again, they're organized by w whatever length and color they are. So this panel here is like our Galvalume color, the panel on the bottom here is our Barn Red color, and, and yeah, they're just organized by, uh, by the length and width. So uh, this section right here is where the 26 foot long panels go. And uh, after all the materials are manufactured, the installation crew actually comes in and gets all the materials for each individual building. Uh, each installation crew installs anywhere from two to four buildings on each run, and the job sites are usually within one to a two hour radius from each other. Um, and once they get all of the tubes and panels uh, and, and put them on the trailer, the installers then grab the appropriate roll-up doors, walk doors, and windows for each application. Uh, and, and they also uh, gather like all the appropriate fasteners and, and anchors for each application as well. So I'll just pull up a few different pictures of those. Uh, so this right here is uh, our standard window that comes on the building. It's uh, 24 inches by 36 inches. Um, this window here is one of our 30 inch by 36 inch windows. And then we have uh, like walk doors in this same building. And we also like organize all of our, our roll up doors in, in the same building as well. If the picture will put there we go. Uh, so yeah, you know, uh, they just grab whatever um, size roll up door is going on the buildings that they're installing that week. Um, and also here's kind of what the anchors look like. These are the concrete anchors if you're going to be in, uh, installing your building on, on concrete. Uh, it's, it's a standard like Tapcon anchor and uh, once the anchor is drilled all the way in, it then expands out into the concrete and it makes it so it, it uh, can't be pulled out of the concrete in like heavy winds. And this anchor here is uh, our mobile home anchor and this is just installed when you're, when you're going to be putting the building on like the ground or gravel. 
And also, um, these are the standard fasteners that we use. These fasteners actually drill into the panels, and, and they're what uh, drill the, the panels to the square steel tubing of the building. And uh, also, th this building that everything uh, is being stored in is, is kind of unique. Uh, our manufacturer is actually fully finished in this building all the way. They're doing, uh, they've insulated the whole thing. They're adding sheetrock into it, and they're going to put a drop-down ceiling. There's already electricity in there, and there's a couple roll-up doors. That's one of our 12x12 12 12 doors right there. Uh, here's a 9x8 a door. Um, and here's kind of what the building looks like on the outside. So... Um, yeah, it, it's, this building here, I believe, is 30 foot wide by 100 foot long. And also, uh, on, on this little corner, you can't see it in the picture here, but uh, the manufacturer's has fully uh, in, enclosed like an office space. They added a drop ceiling, insulated the whole thing, put electricity in it, um, put sheetrock, a tile floor, and, and just, yeah, just made it into a nice little office space. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's kind of the manufacturing process of the buildings. If you guys have any questions, you can give me a call at 434 907-9114 or go on our website and uh, ask us for a quote at AmericanBuildingOutlet.com Thanks.